Hello everyone, this is Amir from Audio Science Review. Welcome to another episode of Inside uh, Your High Resolution Music. This is by request again to look at the uh, free samples that uh, the uh, Lin Records provides for free. So feel free to go to this uh, URL and download and play with the same files. There are three tracks here of uh, downloaded the highest quality available, which is uh, 192 kilohertz, 24-bit uh, uh, samples. I have brought those into Adobe Audition, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and play these for you one at a time, and let's see what we discover. So, oops, let me get this to be at the beginning. So there we go. Pausing this, uh, it's a piano piece. We immediately see usual problems. Uh, these ultrasonic tones are there. Uh, four of them I count. Interesting enough, the frequency is actually different in different channels. Blue is one channel, red is the other channel. And uh, so they're actually picking up different frequencies uh, rather than the same uh, frequencies. Uh, so different problems. Uh, there, I don't have an explanation for them. Again, they could be uh, CRT monitor scans and uh, you know, other ultrasonic sources in the environment. Uh, other than that, we have a slightly rising noise floor, which is some kind of noise shaping happening. Not, not much uh, to talk about, but, but it's there. Um, playing the track again. We see that piano really doesn't have much of a uh, spectrum as ultrasonics go uh, I'd say it's about 20 20 20 kilohertz to 25 kilohertz looking at the heat map we see that above about this level or so it's all black so there's really no spectrum in here so this could have been sampled at uh, 88 kilohertz uh, without any problems and at 88 kilohertz we would have uh, Cut off at uh, 44 kilos here, not have any of this rising nose floor or these peaks. So, uh, same story as other music that we've examined. Disappointing that these are there. Um, fortunately, the levels are not so extreme, but the frequencies are quite high. So, let's move on to the second track they provided. Uh, and uh, again, let me pull this to the beginning and let's play that. Immediately we see the issues rising out of the noise floor. This is an organ piece. Uh, I can't see any reason for this to be there, this and, and the other peaks. Let it continue to play. So we see the usual problems, peaks in here. Now at lower frequencies are more bothersome. So this is 26 kilohertz. This peak is there, this one's there. Notice it's just in one channel again, not in the other channel. Likewise, we have one channel here picking up some garbage here and not in the other one. Uh, moving this to the end, let's see what happens when there's silence. Oops. So again, even during silence, we have all these peaks. Uh, it's just disappointing how common this problem is. Clearly, there's just no attention paid to uh, cleaning up ultrasonic. Uh, people probably just listen to the clips, and if they don't hear something, they go ahead and record and produce this content and ship it to us. Uh, uh, more hygiene is definitely necessary. Let's go to the third clip, third clip and see what's going on there. It's quite fascinating here. Check out the scalloping, uh, comb filtering type of uh, response that's in, that's in here. We've got one here, 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 and it continues on. Uh, I just can't tell you what's causing that um, unless it's, it's the uh, response of the anti-aliasing filter. And it's actually some of this signal here that's showing up here as a lower amount of... Uh, uh, lower amplitude than goes on here, but quite unusual. It's not something I've seen uh, in recordings before. So uh, let's continue to play. There's really no doubt that this is all there, and you know it's not correlated with music. 
when music comes it overwhelms it uh, but uh, as it's there as a background set of tones that keep going on and on we have our usual rising notes floral so uh, because of noise shaping uh, what the southern peak was yeah it looks like there's actually musical information the microphone has pretty good bandwidth and it's trying to struggling to push above this noise floor if this rising noise floor wasn't there and we didn't have this garbage this is a quite a wide bandwidth uh, recording as far as the microphones are concerned so pulling this all the way to the end and see what happens during the silence again again we see all this statically there so definitely definitely not good uh, disappointing on multiple fronts you know in addition to the usual peaks that we have now we have this tons of spectrum over here uh, that scallops up and down uh, some of these are awfully close to the audible band uh, I mean check out this one it's right at 20 kilohertz even this one might be suspect so you know this is supposed to be silence and instead we have this all the way down to 14 15 kilohertz something's generating this spray of harmonics uh, yeah thinking about it, this may actually be a switching power supply of some sort maybe powering uh, um, some amplifier something in the signal path that's generating all this uh, it could also even be their lighting system actually thinking about it out loud uh, could be some kind of uh, uh, switching power supply that's powering LED lights uh, of the sort that's generating all of this noise I definitely wouldn't call this high resolution music so to have these offered as uh, a sample of what high resolution music could provide is disappointing um, subjectively none of this sounds like it needs high resolution piano music and uh, vocals and, and the organ wouldn't be my choice if something that that needs ultra high spectrum uh, I know there's some arguments about timing resolution and what have you we'll leave that to future episode but uh, again disappointing um, for samples I expect to see pristine and clean uh, uh, the, uh, musical samples provided to us not stuff that looks like this so that's it uh, again this is Amir from audiosciencereview.com talk to you later in a future video Bye-bye.